<coughs> right, this is um, Sheila, and this is part three of my visit to Shaftesbury in 2008. Um, part two, I forgot that I was running the tape, so I didn't actually do a, a little ending to that part. But here I am, inside the church of St. James Shaftesbury. I'm going to have to go back there because I really didn't spend enough time in there looking around and so much research has been done since that visit that I'll need to look around the graveyard again as well because a lot more names have surfaced over the last sort of six, seven months. So anyway, here we go, rejoining me inside Shaftesbury St. James's Church. Brave, Robert Brickell, born 1833, died 1918. Also, Ellen Matilda Brickell, wife of the above, born 1843, died 1926. The parents of William, Beatrice Ellen, Thomas Arthur, Robert James, some children. Just wandering around. There's other people wandering as well. And they're gonna all climb up Gold Hill in a minute, I think. Right, we've got um, George Shepherd Gray, 1918, and Ada Kate Gray, 1939. Bennett Braves. Not to mention those. Mary Elizabeth Gray, the wife of Charles Gray. She died in 1909, aged 53, and Charles Gray died in 1924, aged 67. Just a reminder, this is St. James's Shaftesbury. There are about four churches, so... We've got Gladys May Burden, who died April the 21st, 1976, aged 66. Walter Harry Burden, a loving husband and father, who died November the 10th, 1995, aged 83. It's a Burden Gray. Richard Eliza Gray, who fell asleep January the 18th, 1946, aged 78. And Thomas Gray, who died aged 90 in 1951, I think. Of course, we've got Grays um, within the family tree. The Dorset family tree, there are greys weaving in and out um, of the tree. And just as a Dennis Brooke Briggs, who died 1964, and his wife Grace Mary Davy Briggs, 1889 to 1995. Just in case, I've got Briggs and Brooks in my family. They're in Suffolk, in Cambridgeshire. Was a George Gray, who died 1938, age 84, and Agnes Selina Gray, who died 1963, age 98. Right, so I've been around most of the churches that I could see and find. Found the odd thing in the cemetery. There was a Bill and a Mirfield. That was interesting.
there's no rush. I've done an awful lot today. I was in the graveyard at 7 o'clock this morning. Um, at Gillingham, and then I went on to Mot Motcombe before moving over to Shaftesbury, where I've been all over the place. I mean, I never got round to going in the museum because you have to pay, and I'm very, very short of cash. Um, I did actually buy myself a pasty and an ice bun, because that's going to be my dinner. Um, so, basically, I'm just going to plan my route, because I can't afford to waste petrol going up and down dells and hills, even though it's nice. So I'll be back in a minute. Oh yes, yeah, somewhere in the records, it was a... Someone got married at this church. I've got two, a father and his son, both married at St. James's. I'll look that up later tonight in the, in the records. Or it might be on the computer. Yeah, that rings a bell, definitely. Right, well, I'm on my way to Ashmore. I'm going down this very narrow lane in the middle of nowhere after coming off a very busy road. Very narrow. It reminds me of Suffolk, really, when I used to go across that road from Barwell to Exon. Like a little Roman road, all of its own. It's beautiful. This is what I love doing. I never not quite found here or anything, and I didn't even think there'd be anyone in the graveyard. But, uh, it's got to be done. Scanning has got to be done, you see. Kids are always making me laugh for me, but, um, they probably wonder what I'm up to. Going in graveyards. Oh, right. There's probably a quicker way, but then it's more fun doing it like this. Going down Bunny Lanes. On the way to Fontanelle Magna this way as well. Fontanelle Magna's not far from West Orchard, so we're going in the right direction. But, uh, I would have done everything. Any trouble? Thank you. 
forgot I had the tape playing at this part. It's a bit noisy, the van. I've stopped and got outside. I think I'm at Ashmore at this point by the pond. You can hear the birds. Yeah. 